Hey fifth graders, we are gonna get into lesson 19. No, 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 no. Got it. Did you hear that, guys? He's serious. No, baby. Yeah. Anything else? Um, we're going to get into lesson 19. This is going to be a super short video because all we're doing are conversions and multiplying fractions. You guys know how to do this. Um, so to make up for my real long video yesterday. It's that. It's that. It's that. Okay. Um, we're going to do a super short video right now. Ready, set. Okay, kiddos. Uh, we are going to do three problems and then I'm going to sign off. Okay, so lesson 19, we are converting. We have done this exact algorithm before. First line, so here we're looking to do two feet. Well, actually, it's already done for us. Two feet into how many yards? The only difference here is that we're dealing with fractions, but we ain't afraid of no fractions. So first line, we're unpacking. Two feet equals, oh, I cannot, two times one foot. Two times one foot is equal to two feet. What happened? Do you need help? Cal just dropped his snack. Um, huge. Okay, so the, remember you guys doing the, this conversion? Uh, first line we unpack, and then the second line we just repeat what we're starting with, 2, 2. And then remember these two need to be equal to one another. So one foot is equal to one third of a yard because there are three yards. I'm sorry. Let's try that again, Mrs. Kalmarish. There are three feet in one yard. So in turn, there's one third of a yard um, and one foot. It's a fraction. There's not a whole yard. There's not a whole yard inside, oh, living inside a foot. So, and then from there, you just do really, really simple multiplication. It's just two times one on the top over three. So two thirds of a yard is equal to two feet. Very, very cool. Georgie, don't you turn on me. Okay, got this? So let's look at B, guys. We have four feet. <laughs> Georgie's flowing, flowing flurbers for you guys. Four feet is equal to, hmm, how many yards? Well, this is actually, some of this is done for us. Goodness sakes. We gotta set this up, Eureka. Four feet, okay, so now we're getting into our second line. Four feet is equal to four times one foot. Okay, got it. And then we return, and then we repeat, no, 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 um, our, this is our conversion line. So we're going to bring down our four. And then we need to think, hmm, one foot is equal to what fraction of a yard? Well, I'm just going to go next door and recall that one foot is equal to one third of a yard. I'm going to erase this equal sign because it's a little confusing, okay? So now we just do straight multiplication. We, we know how to multiply. We've got four times one up top over three, which is equal to, hmm, let me think, four over three. If we want to simplify, that's four over three is equal to one and one third. So four feet is equal to one and one third of a yard. Does this look familiar to you guys? Is this um, making some sense? I hope so. We do these metric convert or we do these conversions. We use this exact algorithm a couple of times each module with the hopes that by the time we kind of land in module four, this is making a lot of sense. So here, let's look at C. Seven inches is equal to blank feet. So our first line, we're just going to unpack what we're what we're starting with. Seven inches is equal to seven times one inch. This side is equal to that side. Okay, now we're gonna start converting. So we're gonna bring down our seven, so that's equal to seven times 
some amount of feet because we're converting our inches to feet. I have to think, and this is a one, I have to think, hmm, what fraction of a foot is equal to one inch? Well, there's, you guys know 12 inches is equal to one foot. So one twelfth of a foot is equal to one inch. If this were a foot, one foot, there are, oh, pretend this is 11. Can you pretend that there's 11 equal pieces there? I'm sorry, what am I thinking? 12 equal pieces? So there's 12 inches that make a foot. So one twelfth of a foot is equal to one inch. Very interesting. Now we just have to do really simple multiplication. So up top we have seven times one. Down below we have 12. Seven times one is equal to seven. We have seven over 12. Seven inches equals seven twelfths of a foot. Very cool. Now let's, let's look at one more and then I'm gonna spring you guys loose. Speaking of which, our uh, we're our secret word is salmon because that's what the calamaris family is having for dinner and i am starving um salmon salmon is the secret word let's look at look at one more here we have d we're looking at 13 inches is equal to how many feet 13 inches is equal to how many feet so let's set up that kind of that first line where we're unpacking what we're starting with 13 inches is equal to 13 times one inch. <laughs> George is really excited about that. 13 times one inch is equal to 13 inches. Okay, so now we're gonna start our conversion. Um, this is equal to 13 times, hmm, oops, sorry, times, that equal, um, 13 times, I do not recommend doing math with an eight month old in your hands. Just FYI, in case any of you are doing a, an informal survey. Uh, 13 times, hmm, some fraction of a foot is equal to one inch. Holy smokes, I'm just gonna go next door and I'm going to recall that Well, I didn't draw that seven. That one twelfth of a foot is equal to one inch. One twelfth of a foot is equal to one inch because there's 12 inches, as you guys know, that live inside one foot. Now we just have some very straightforward multiplication. So we have, Georgie loves straightforward multiplication. We have 13 times one up top, and then we have 12 on the bottom. That is equal to 13 over 12. Simplify that. We have 1 and 1 12th. Okay, so 13 inches is equal to 1 and 1 12th of a foot. That's all we have here, folks. We're just going to use that traditional algorithm for conversions. Beware, spoiler alert, there's going to be fractions involved, but as it turns out, we are not afraid of fractions. We are expert fraction multipliers. So, come in tomorrow, ready to work. It's going to be a great day. I will see you then. <laughs>